Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Harley. Today we're gonna to continue to work on the I can statement of I can subtract across zeros. The other time when we met, we talked about subtracting across zeros using the expanded form method and our manipulatives. We're gonna continue with our manipulatives today. We're gonna to continue with our expanded form method, but I'm also going to show you the ungroup first method. So let's begin by looking at our equation. We have 200 minus 146. I'm going to circle my subtraction symbol because that tells our brain that we're looking for that partner, not the total. That means our answer has to be less than 200. I'm going to star the ones column because I'm always going to start there. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is start with the expanded form. And if you remember, we expanded 200 into saying that 200 was equal to or the same as 100 plus 90 plus 10. We can expand our 146 into 100 plus 40 plus 6. Remember, when we're doing our expanded form method, we're writing the values of each of those digits. Let's look over here at our base 10 pieces now. Our original total is 200, so we're starting with 200. We have that digit two in the hundreds column, so that's our two hundreds. If you remember, when we had 200 and we expanded it, we said that 200 was equal to or the same as 90 and 10. And we did that because there was a zero in the ones column and there was a zero in the hundreds column. When Miss Ones went next door to Mr. Tens, Mr. Tens didn't have anything. So he went next door to the hundreds column and he broke it up once he took it into his 10 ones, excuse me, his 10 tens, which he took one of those 10 sticks that he had given to Miss Ones and she broke it up into 10 ones, which gave us our 100 block, our nine tens or 90, and our 10 ones. So when we subtract <clears throat> using that expanded form method, we can go ahead and we can do 10 minus six gives us four. If we take six away from our ones, we get four ones, just like we get up here. When we do our 90 minus 40, we have that more on top, just like we did over here. 90, take away our 40, gives us 50. One hundred minus one hundred, the numbers are the same. So zero is the game. So when we do 50 plus four, that gives us a partner or an answer of 54. If I want to do that on group first method, let me show you how this expanded form method really helps you to understand the why behind what we're doing. So when we're doing our on group first method, say that with me, on group first. We're going to say, I have more on the floor. So I have to go next door and get 10 more. There wasn't any. So if you remember, if we go back to what we had here with our 200, when Miss Ones goes here, Mr. Tens didn't have any. So Mr. Hundreds gave this to Mr. Ten. He, Mr. Ten borrowed it from Mr. Hundreds. But when Mr. Ten gets that, Mr. Ten takes that and he's going to ungroup it. So he takes this 100 and he ungroups it into five, I'm sorry, 10 tens. So let's look. 
what that looks like. So we cross out our 200, we change it to a 100, just like we did here. That means this zero in the tenths column becomes 10, because 10 tenths is the same as 100. And look, that's what we have here, 100 and 10 tenths. But look, we also haven't fixed our problem yet, right? So now this is where Mr. 10 is going to loan a 10 stick to Miss Ones. So Mr. 10 is going to give this to Miss Ones. How many does Mr. 10s have now? Let's count them. Here's our five. One, two, three, four, five tens. One, two, three, four, and five make nine. So now Mr. 10 only has nine tens. Nine tens is equal to or the same as 90. So this digit nine means 90. There is our 90 in our expanded form. What happens to our ones column? Well, when Miss Ones gets this 10 stick, she takes it and she ungroups it or she breaks it apart into 10 ones. So if we're looking here, that means that the digit in the ones column is now going to become 10 because zero plus 10 is 10. So let's look here at our ungroup first method. We have the digit one in the hundreds column, which means 100, the digit nine in the tens column, which is the same as 90, and 10 in the ones column, which is the same as 10. So see how these two are the same? Now guess what, now I can subtract 10 ones minus six ones, that gives me four ones. Nine tens, that's greater on top, minus four tens, gives me five tens. One one hundred minus one one hundred gives me zero. I have an answer of 54, I have an answer of 54. This is that expanded form method. This is that ungroup first method. Remember, more on top, no need to stop. When you have more on the floor, you have to go next door to the next place value to borrow. But if that neighbor doesn't have any, Mr. 10 doesn't have it, Mr. 10 has to go to Mr. Hundreds. Mr. Hundreds then loans that to Mr. 10. Mr. 10 breaks it apart or ungroups it and then he loans it to Mrs. One. So that's where we get the one, the nine, and the 10 from. Let's do one more to help us understand it just a little bit more. I'm gonna set up my place board method again. We're still working with that total 200, circling our symbol, telling our brain, looking for a partner, not a total, starring our ones column. Let's expand our 200 we know has the same value as 100 plus 90 plus 10. And we know that 72 has the same value as 70 and two. Keep in mind, I left this space blank because there is not a digit here and it's very important that I keep them lined up. So if we're looking at our ungroup first method, Starting that one's come, we have more on the floor. We're gonna to need to go next door and get 10 more. There isn't any to get. Nothing there. So that's where Mr. 10 goes to Mr. Hundreds. It gets moved to the tens column. So now, Mr. Hundreds has just 100. Mr. Tens is going to take this 100 and he is going to ungroup it or break it apart because he always stores his in the units of tens and he has 10 10 sticks. <clears throat> so that's what that looks like. But we still haven't fixed our problem yet. So now this 10 stick Mr. Tens is going to give to Miss Ones. She does not store things in the units of tens. She's going to ungroup it, break it down into 10 ones. So that means now 
Mr. Ten only has nine ten sticks because he gave one to miss ones. Ten plus zero is ten. So now I can subtract. Ten ones minus two ones is eight ones. Nine tens minus two tens is two tens. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Nine tens minus seven tens is two tens. And 100 minus nothing is 100. So I should get that partner of 128. Let's check it over here. 10 ones minus two ones is eight. Bring down your plus sign. 90 minus 70 is 20. 100 minus nothing is 100. 100 plus 20 plus eight is equal to, or the same as 128. My answers check. What if you're home and you really are still confused and you wanna use these great base 10 pieces, but unfortunately you don't have them at home, you can go back and use a proof drawing. So let Mrs. Harley show that to you. I'm gonna make 200, because that's our total that we started with. So there's my two 100 boxes. I couldn't do zero minus two, so we had to go next door and there weren't any. So he had to go to the hundreds column. When Mr. 10 gets it, that hundred, he ungroups it or breaks it apart into 10 tens. Still haven't solved the problem yet. So now this is going to go to Miss Ones, but she is going to ungroup that 10 stick into 10 ones. So now we can subtract. Here we have our 10 ones, just like here. Here we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 sticks, just like here, nine tens which is the same as 90. Here we have just one 100 left, just like here. So now we could subtract. We take away those two ones and we get eight. We take away seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we have two 10 sticks, which is the same as 20. We don't take away any hundreds, so we still have 100 left. And we have 100 plus 20 plus eight is 128. Again, that partner matches with my other two solutions. So we, have, we are subtracting across zeros using that expanded form method. You can always use that proof drawing. Our new thing that we learned today is that ungroup first method. Say that with me one time, on group first method. Have fun practicing. We will see you soon.